Hi, I'm LP Wilson, and today I'm going to show you how to strengthen supports in Lychee. So I'm a patron of Archvillain Games, and they make some amazing 3D sculpts, um, such as this Essetria that I have printed and assembled recently. But sometimes you might have some trouble printing their prints. Generally, the prints can be pretty meaty, and their supports are very fine. The fine supports work fairly well for me. I have an AnyCubic Photon Mono, and I increased the exposure time. But it can always happen, it's always possible for a print to fail, and you might get a fail that looks something like this, where the body of the print you're trying to make falls away from the supports. This can happen if your exposure is too low, but also if the supports are just are simply too fine and the connection to the to the figure is too small and the figure is super meaty, like really thick and a lot of volume. But luckily for us, Archvillain Games always shares their Lychee files. Lychee is a program you can download for free to do supports. So here you can see if I'm looking at the decators from their Tome of Demons from January, they have the STL files and also the Lychee files. So. I've opened one of these decators in Lychee, and I'm going to show you how to beef up those supports, make those supports bigger with stronger connections. So you can click and drag the file from your folder right into Lychee, then click supports. And you can see, since it's a Lychee file, the supports are in orange. Now there's a couple of things we can do to increase the strength of these supports if your printer might not be up to making this work. First thing we're going to do is select everything with control A, now all the supports are selected. Now check out these sliders. This first one says the diameter, the diameter of the cylinder of support. If you want this thicker, you can take it and drag it up. Check out what happened. These supports are way thicker now. Okay. Now it might be all we need to do is to increase the thickness of the tip diameter. If you zoom in, you know, those actually look plenty thick, but you can always increase them to have a little bit more contact. On the flip side, if you would like to have less cleanup to do afterwards and your printer can handle it, you can turn those connections down. Um, one thing I noticed is that the tip length is quite long and we could turn that down to make it more secure. Notice how the connection points get closer and these, these cones that are coming closer to the decator um, can become a little shorter. So you can play around with that and test those out. Um, for this figure, one thing I notice is that maybe it would be better if there was bracings. And Lychee can do that too. All you have to do is click Add Bracings, and it'll calculate for a second, and then put bracings in between each of the supports so you can see these orange zigzags. That'll help um, keep your supports together. So I recommend experimenting with these and finding what works. Again, making your supports thinner with a thinner tip if your printer seems to be doing fine and you want easier cleanup or thicker if you're having some fails to your print like I showed earlier. Um, and then if you want to slice it in Lychee, you totally can. I generally do file, export, export as STL, and then move into another slicer. I use the Photon Slicer. And that's it. Um, feel free to post your questions in the comments below or any other tips you have for this. Thanks for watching. Bye.